Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a, not a work order through notification. On your home page in SAP, select the transaction IW21. This could be set up as a favorite on your home page. Double click IW21. Next, you'll be prompted to select the notification type. Go to the match code, select it, and select N2, maintenance request GCC. Next, press the enter button. You'll be brought to the create PM notification page where at first you'll select the first box to enter the description of the notification slash work order. Next, go down to the equipment box. Every notification must be written against a piece of equipment in the plant. Select the match code button. Next, you're on the functional location structure screen. Select expand construction type, BOM explosion, and come up to the function, functional location box. Type in CE102 for the Pueblo plant. Now press the execute button. Next, you'll see a structural list of the entire Pueblo plant. This list corresponds with the GFH numbers throughout the plant. For example, if you'd like to write a work order against the finished mill gearbox, go down to CE102 S61 for the finished mill system. Click the arrow to open the drop down. Next, you can scroll down so you find the appropriate piece of equipment. Here we find the vertical roller mill, which corresponds with the GFH 61201. Select the arrow for the drop down. Now select the eight digit equipment number to select that piece of equipment. Here we'll select 2002-6085 for the finished mill, finished mill reducer. Next, come to the description box. This is where you'll write the description for the work order. Be as descriptive as possible and also include the area in which you found the problem. Next, come down to the planner group box and select the match code. Here, here you'll be given a list of planner groups. For this example, we're going to select 165 mills and kiln. Next, go to the main work center box. Select the match code. Here we're going to select mechanic for mechanical maintenance. After that, Come up here to priority and select the appropriate choice out of the four choices. For this example, we will select month. After that, you are ready to create the work order. Come up to the create work order button, select it, and here you'll be given a list of the last three work orders written against that piece of equipment. Select continue if you are not creating a duplicate work order. Do you want to specify new dates? If yes, select yes. If no, select no. For this example, we're going to select no. Next, you're prompted to select order type. Select the match code, and you have two choices. For this example, we're going to select corrective maintenance work order. Press the continue button to move forward. You have officially created a work order. You can first double check that all your data to make sure it's correct. The next step, you can see the system status is in created. 
and the system status is at zero one. In order for maintenance to process it, come up to the green flag in order to release it. Press the release button. The system status will be at released and this number will turn into either 65 or 70. Once this is complete and everything looks great, come up to the save button and simply press it in order to finish the work order. After that, the work order number will appear on the bottom left hand of the screen. Here you can see it is 406-06-380 and you have officially created a work order. Thank you and have a great day.